one of the big attractions down here at the New Forest is the animals, the ponies, the horses, and they're very tame. I'm going to show you now, there's one here. Just come up to a lady that's in a car, she's got the door open. Look how tame. So they come right up to you as well. Amazing. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hey, gorgeous. Hey. Yeah, but no, I could do that, that would be nice actually. See, they just let me go right up. Yeah. See, there's somebody in the car there and they... Am I doing that tomorrow? ...let you smooth them and everything. Yeah, that's why you start with like... So, considering they're wild, they're very tame. I think this is one of the nice things down here, is the animals. They're spoiled down here because they've got so much forest to walk around and over there in the distance there's some more. There's a white one there. They're always eating. This is why the grass is so trim here. some horses over here as well. They do uh, pony riding down here, rides. Considering these horses and ponies out here in all weathers, their coats look very shiny. The new forest goes on for miles and miles. I'm not sure exactly how big the new forest is. But to get from one side to the other does take quite a long time. Let's have another look at this one here. Looks so content. Just lets you walk straight up to them, no problem whatsoever. So this is what to expect to find if you come to a new forest. Lots of animals. Up here are some stunning views. Get you a little bit of footage now of some of the views from here. It just goes for miles and miles.
And there's lots of little walkways. It just leads to nowhere. We're on a long tripod now to try and get you some overhead footage of the forest. Sun's very bright. You've been down here before? I have, yeah. Yeah. But you? I'm just getting a bit of footage. Oh, are we're doing, you? Yeah, doing a documentary on it. Yeah. We've done one before. Have you? Yeah, but we're just doing a bit of daytime oh, of the animals, you? really. Daughter on the boat. Ah. And he just, or she just came over. I, oh, I didn't know it was you in the car. What it was, I just pulled up there and I see this. Was it horse or pony, was it? Um, pony, oh, I think. Was it? Yeah. yeah. I saw it come up to a car door. And it is your hand then, yeah. but it's just going outside. So, do you see the coat? It's so shiny. I know, it's beautiful. I was talking to my daughter for ages on the phone and just stayed there for ages. I would have given her yeah. an apple if I was. I like, don't know if you're allowed to feed them or not down I here. Because I think I've seen a sign done. somewhere that says don't feed the animals. I'm oh, not sure right. where it was. But she's such a shiny coat. Yeah. Considering thinking. it's wi uh, a yeah. wild animal. Yeah. Wow. And I was just literally stroking. Yeah. Between the eyes and yeah, I came up by the side there, and yeah, I, I got I got really close to him, and I was like, no, no, no. I was filming the pony, or I think it was a pony, not a horse, wasn't it? I think yeah, it was a pony. Yeah, I just couldn't believe how shiny the coat was. It really was, yeah. but how tame. Yeah. yeah. You know, you it let you touch it and yeah, everything. Yeah, it approached yeah. me. I was just Did sitting it? in the car with the door open. I know. I didn't know who was actually in the car. Yeah. And she so just no, introduced herself. I, I was just sitting there with the door open. Wow. And just came over, and I thought, yeah. okay, and just came. Literally, more or less, straight in. It's beautiful it. down here, it really is, isn't it? It's so sweet. You know, I mean, it's not it's not so nice on a rainy day, but when you got a day like today, yeah. twenty one degrees. Yeah. You know, it's. I um, my children down here. I mean, they're in their thirties now. Yeah. There's a place called Sandy Balls, which is quite famous now, I think. Oh right. Um, oh, that's think, towards. Fording Bridge. Fording Bridge. Yeah. But they've developed it a lot more now. Yeah. It's holiday homes down, and everything now. Yeah. When I first brought them down, it was a really nice, very quite basic yeah you know but they did little crafts and things oh right yeah um and it was really lovely but now it's all like i remember they i think it's for the tourists now an amusement yeah arcade thing and i thought oh no here we go it's gonna go a little bit but, um, yeah i just come down to film some of the animals i was hoping to get some deer but i haven't seen any yet no it's a lovely job you've got but the thing is now, cameras have got smaller and smaller now. 1080 is the best of filming. Yeah. But it's going up to 8K and 16K later. That's going to cause a lot of problems. Yeah. Because the file size takes up so much space, I don't know how we're going to get around it. Yeah. Because it's just not practical. Yeah. And not just that, the human eye can't read anything more than 4K anyway. Right. In fact, actually, it's, it can't yeah. read much more than 1080. It's not much difference than that. Yeah. So what's the point? Yeah, well, I was going to say, why change? It's for distance viewing. Oh, okay. If you're viewing your TV in a distance, it's a clearer picture. Yeah. But then again, to pick out the definition of the little bits and pieces, you've got to be really close to it. Yeah. It's all done by the pixels. It's all hype, really. You know what I mean? Like I say, the Japanese are actually bringing out this new 16K. But what's the point? But all the new 4K stuff, to be honest yeah. with you. Until we go over to it, or we do some 4K. Well, we film it in 4K, but we upload in 1080. Gonna walk around, see if I can get some yeah. bits and pieces. Yeah, see if I can get some adders. Oh. Adders down here, aren't they? Well, no. Yeah. I haven't seen any yet, but I've heard little stories that there's lots of adders down here.
well the lady I was just chatting to there was the actual lady where the pony went to the door <laughs>